Hello guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at the genome of an Iron Age Hungarian. Uh, it's labeled as Scythian Hungary, but I think that's just because he lived in the Scythian era. Uh, he lived in Hungary at the time that Scythians were there, so that's why they just call him Scythian. Because the gene when you look at the genetics, you look at the GZ match and the G25, you can see it's definitely not a Scythian, anything but a Scythian. Moving on to appearance, this is his predicted phenotype with my Nashakot as well as Ysek. Nashakot predicts him to have blue eyes, Greek shaped nose and blonde hair. Ysek also predicts him to have blue eyes and blonde hair, although uh, Ysek does not predict uh, nose shape, right? With Snipper Freak, he's also predicted to have blue eyes, blonde hair and white skin. And what's interesting about this sample is that he had BH1 and BH2 and BH3 and he was uh, homozygous for all of them actually, so he definitely had very light color eyes. Uh, I, I put a phylogenetic tree of blue eyes here on the bottom uh, bottom right of the screen so you can see kind of the evolution of his, um, of his HERC2 and OCA2 genotype. He did not have the European no-go learner mutation in the DRD2's porofrenatine pro variation, so probably had a higher risk of schizophrenia relative to Europeans. And um, he also had the warrior with the IO genotype in Comets val met variation, which means uh, val val The implications of this genotype is that it's not a European genotype, it's more, it's more frequent outside of Europe. And he had quicker reuptake of dopamine, which means less dopamine in his system, which means better stress resiliency. He had the European mutation that protects against myopia, which is really cool. Uh, probably was not nearsighted, did not need glasses to see in a distance. And um, he did not have the European lactose persistence mutation, which means most likely most Europeans who don't have this mutation are lactose intolerant, with some exceptions. He was probably lactose intolerant. And um, I had to impute this genotype here, but based on the imputed genotype, he did not have derived OXTR, he did not have the sociopath. Uh, Gene did not have any problems with empathy. He did not have East Asian alcohol flush reaction. Now, moving on to polygenic traits and illnesses, he had a very high risk score for brain aneurysm, a um, pretty average risk score for type 2 diabetes, a uh, above average risk score for Parkinson's, um, he had a average risk score for schizophrenia, uh, he had a very low risk score for Crohn's disease, he also had a very average risk score for coronary heart disease, a average risk score for bipolar disorder, and uh, a below average risk score for asthma. This is what he scores with Eurogene's K13. Definitely not a Scythian, only scoring 7% West Asian, only scoring... He's not even scoring any South Asian, so yeah, definitely not a Scythian individual, just a typical, typical Central European. In terms of ancestry, uh, based on the oracles, I can make the assumption that he's Germanic, probably a Germanic speaker who lived in Hungary. This is what he scores with the official G25. Uh, he's closest to Slovenians and Croatians, but they have heavy, heavy Germanic admixture. I think this is a Germanic individual. My bet is that this guy is some kind of a German, Germanic person mixed with maybe something from the steppe. Maybe he does have a little bit of Scythian admixture, but I don't think it's the majority. I think the majority of him is Germanic. And with MDL PK23B here, uh, you can see he's getting modeled as a mixture of Hungarian plus Spanish or Hungarian plus Portuguese, modern Hungarian plus Portuguese, which would actually be sort of a typical result for a German too, like a southern German from Bavaria, for example. This is what he scores with Harappa World. Once again, definitely not a Scythian result because Scythian or Sarmatian, especially Sarmatian, would be scoring like 30 or 25% Baloch here. And he's only scoring 5. Uh, he's getting modeled as a mixture of Slovenian plus Spaniard or Spaniard plus Russian, which is kind of a typical, also kind of like a typical result. Maybe not a southern German, but more like a person from Switzerland would probably score similar to this. This is what he scores with PanDNA LK10. Definitely not a Scythian result because only 21% CHG. That's literally less than like modern Northeast Europeans, right? So definitely not a Scythian. And uh, with the Oracle, he's closest to Croatians and South Germans. Um, he's actually getting modeled as a mixture of South German plus Pugliar. Or s the secondary population here doesn't really matter. Uh, with Ancient Eurasia K6, this is what he scores. Um, He's not scoring any East Asian, which is interesting, but he is scoring a little bit of Ancestral North Eurasian too. So this is actually the only calculator that shows any kind of proximity to actual Scythians. And even here, uh, this is more of a typical Ukrainian or an Eastern European result rather than an actual Scythian. And finally, this is what this Iron Age Hungarian... That's what I'm going to call him. I'm not going to call him a Scythian because he's not a Scythian. 
Uh, that's what this Iron Nation Garion is scoring with Gedrosia K3. Mostly West Eurasian, definitely a very modern individual with a lot of modern West Eurasian drift. And now, this is where I conclude my video. Thanks for watching until the end. You can download the raw data file for this sample in 23andMe format from link which is in the description. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.